is Rosie the Rhinosaurus. Oh, look at that. That's what we want. So cheerful, so happy. Rosie is the girl. Rosie the Rhinosaurus. For Rosie, you are the most beautiful unicorn, JB. For Rose, MS. Let's do this, guys. Rosie the Rhinosaurus by Jim Barnes and Matt Shanks. Rosie never wanted to sleep in. There were so many things to do, so much fun to be had. Now, uh, sleeping is not for me. Sleeping in is not for me. That's me, Rosie. She ran down to the river, looked down into the water, and smiled at her reflection. She let out a little laugh and ran to see who else was awake. Now, guys, she's so cheerful and happy. And look at her reflection. <laughs> Well, 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 she's ready to start her day. Good morning, Mr. Giraffe. Did you see that glorious sunrise this morning? Rosie called out. She always had something new and spectacular to say about the world around her. Good morning to you too, little rhinosaurus. Yes, I did see that sunrise. Oh dear, Mr. Giraffe, are you talking to me? I'm not a rhinosaurus, I'm a unicorn, said Rosie. Look at this pretty horn, <laughs> she laughed. And can't you see my dainty hooves? Everyone knows that unicorns have dainty hooves. Don't be mistaken, I'm a unicorn, I'm not a rhinosaurus. Okay, Mr. Giraffe? Rosie could never work out why everyone thought she was a rhinoceros. She was beautiful, she was slick and made friends easily. Not like the powerful and loud rhinoceroses. They were very impressive, but they were not magical like her. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was because she lived with that lovely rhinoceros family that they thought she was one too. Why would they confuse themselves? I'm not a rhinosaurus, I'm a unicorn, unicorn. Rosie skipped on. She loved the feel of the cool morning breeze blowing on her face and the light of the sun as it poked its head out from behind the clouds. The morning was Rosie's favorite time of the day. That's right, it's Rosie's favorite time of the day where she skips on greeting everybody. I'm loving Rosie so much. Greetings, Mrs. Lion. Isn't it a stupendous day? She sang out as she wished through the long grass. Good morning, little rhinoceros, Mrs. Lion replied. Rosie looked down around to see if there was someone nearby. No, there was no rhinoceros to be seen. Um, are you talking to me, Mrs. Lion? You must have a sleepy head, Mrs. Lion. I'm a unicorn, don't you remember? She smiled and jumped in the air. And see, a rhinoceros could not jump in the air like me. I'm certainly a unicorn. Then Rosie heard the sound of an elephant trumpeting to greet the morning sun and carried on her walk. Now that's right, guys. There are a lot of, lot of, lot of animals to greet. <laughs> Rosie tiptoed through the sleeping animals. And look at that. They are still asleep. No one wants to wake up a herd of elephants unless they are ready to be woken. Not even a unicorn. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Elephant, she whispered to a large grey lady as she grazed on shootings on grass. Isn't this morning exquisite? She's whispering because everybody's asleep. Yes, Rosie, it is. I love that a young rhino 
sorcerers like you notices these things. Mrs. Elephant lifted her trunk to the, the sky and trumpeted once again, stirring the heart. Wake up, you sleepy elephants! It's time to rise and sing! <laughs> they are all startled. <laughs> What's going on? What happened, Mom? <laughs> it seemed everyone thought that Rosie was rhinoceros. She would have to let them know the truth. Why is this? Everyone's having this trouble with my appearance. I'm a unicorn, not a rhinoceros. <sighs> they have to know. They all have to know. Mrs. Elephant, Rosie asked sweetly. You have a lovely loud voice and all the animals listen to you. Could you ask everyone very nicely if they would meet me by the water hole? I need to talk to them. Oh, I'm sure they will come down to meet a delightful young rhinoceros like yourself. As Mrs. Elephant said politely and called the animals to Rosie's mating. Now, guys, Rosie's had to have a mating. Everybody has to know. Okay, guys, are you ready for Rosie's mating? I am. Rosie's looked around at the animals who were gathered, waiting to hear what she had to say. Um, Rosie cleared her throat. I have asked you all to come today to clear something up. It seems that you believe that I'm a rhinoceros, Rosie said. Well, I'm here to tell you that I am in fact a unicorn. The animals looked at each other and smiled. Now, don't get me wrong, Rosie continued. Rhinosaurs are some of the nicest animals in the savannah, but I'm clearly a unicorn. If you don't believe me, look at my beautiful horn and my delicate hooves, which allow me to walk so quietly. The animals all looked and smiled. Hmm. That makes sense, that makes sense. She looks so beautiful and her horns so cute and those delicate hoops. She gotta be a unicorn, not a rhinoceros. They all looked and smiled. So I would appreciate if you would call me Rosie the Unicorn, please. Then Mrs. Elephant said, we all are very sorry for calling you the wrong name. You certainly bring rainbows wherever you go and are kind and caring to your friends. Please forgive us, little unicorn. Oh, <laughs> so sweet, Mrs. Elephant. And everybody is whispering to each other and nodding each other with smiles. Mm. Rosie beamed. She was so happy she jumped in the air. Thank you. I adore living here with all of you and I will see you by the river tomorrow. <laughs> and as she skipped away, Rosie's happy face shone like the morning sun. That's right, she is happy. Rosie's happy face shone like the morning sun. What a beautiful story. Rosie the Rhinoceros from the award winning author and rock legend Jimmy Barnes and critically acclaimed illustrator Matt Shanks comes a book about the joy of being yourself.